540XL is a great motor. And the Haas is a great truck, but when paired together, they break drive shafts like crazy. Today we're gonna see if the extreme heavy duty kit can fix it. Did you know that Traxxas sells an extreme heavy duty driveline suspension kit? This works on the Haas 4x4 VXL, the Slash 4x4, and the Rustler 4x4. We're gonna be installing it on our Traxxas Haas 4x4 VXL to see if it really works. And it's also a cosmetic kit because it comes in any color that would be your favorite. Today we have part number 9080G, which is the green kit. Let's open up the kit. Let's see how much of the parts are green. Let's lay them all out so we can see exactly what you get in this kit. Well, this is everything that comes in the box. We have steering blocks, caster blocks, rear axle carriers, shock towers right here and here. We have body mounts, which we won't be using because we have a Haas that has the clipless body system, so. But if you had a slash, you'd be using that, as well as these. Max duty drive shafts, that's what they're called, the max duty drive shafts. Really heavy duty, really, really nice looking. Then we have our steel wheel hexes. These aren't aluminum, they're steel. Ball bearings and all the hardware in order to install it. And on top of that, these are larger bearings than what comes stock. With that in mind, you cannot just fix anything once you install it. The Extreme Heavy Duty Upgrade Kit must be used in its entirety and is not compatible with some existing Traxxas replacement or upgrade parts. As you can see, this just, it just looks really high quality. I think it looks awesome. Look at the rear axle carrier up close. That thing is beefy. This thing is thick. Look at that. What we're most concerned about is the drive shaft since they, you know, die so often. Here's the old ones. Let's compare it right here. Yeah, a lot different. This is the new one, this is the old one. So it looks like we're not going to be breaking drive shafts as often. Usually they'll break right around here or here. Look at how heavy duty that looks. Yeah, it looks really, really good. So enough of the chit chat, let's get this installed. If you notice in the heavy duty kit, it does not come with turnbuckles. Instead, Traxxas gives you a little template so that you can extend your turnbuckles that are already on your car to 81 millimeters. It has it right here, really helpful if you need that. And along with today's upgrade, uh, we have to change an A-arm. We noticed one was broken, we have one, we're putting it in. So now let's get this stuff out of the way and start disassembling the Haas. So we've really just gotten the tires off. We were just observing these stub axle carriers and it's night and day. Look at this thing compared to this one. That's just insane. That's gonna toughen this truck up a lot. Look at the difference between the factory caster and steering block compared to the new one. Look at that. It's just way thicker plastic. This is uh, the cold weather plastic yep. so that it's not as brittle in the cold weather. So let's just start disassembling all the axle carrier components and everything around it. All right, so now that it's completely disassembled, we can see by this drive shaft, it's fine, it works, but this is the new drive shaft. Look at how much more heavy duty that looks. It's a bigger bearing and a bigger block to fit the bearing, so that's gonna be so nice. It's a way bigger bearing. Well, the truck is apart and in a mess now, and we're gonna start reassembling all the new parts for it, get the bearings in place, get everything where it needs to go. I need to do this A-arm quick before I go any farther. So we got the green shock towers. They don't have a visible difference. They look like they are the same, but we do know that it is a stronger, you know, cold weather compound, which means stretchier it should work better. I don't think we've ever had, I don't think we've ever, I don't think, I don't think we've ever had a problem with our shock towers on the Haas, but now we definitely won't. I think it looks cool. It looks pretty cool with the green and everything. So here's a tech tip. If you're gonna be working on any of your own vehicles, you really need to have some sort of a pick because inside where you're gonna unscrew your screw gets filled in with sand, like little particles of sand, and then that makes your tool not work as good. So you just clean it out a little bit like that and the tool fits in there nice now. In a previous video, we put on these shock guards on the Haas, and they have proven to be a really nice addition to it for a cheap upgrade. Uh, since we've put these on, we have never damaged a shock on the front. After you've disassembled everything, it's pretty self-explanatory in how to put everything back. Uh, just do it in reverse order. That drive shaft is in. We still have quite a bit of work to do, but the hard part, or maybe not the hard part, but just the involved part, 
we need to extend this to 81 millimeters. All right, so now these are extended to 81 millimeters and they're ready to fit onto our components. We see here, this is an old plastic hex head that was originally on there. And then we had some that were upgraded to these aluminum hex heads. Now this kit doesn't come with either. It comes with these steel hex heads and they are, they look really heavy duty. They feel good, they're heavy, they just feel really nice. All right, so now we're gonna install all the drive shafts. Make sure not to use these grub screws that were originally in there. You have replacement grub screws that are a lot longer so that it goes all the way through. So here's a tip when you're putting these drive shafts together, the bearing is really stubborn to go on there, but if you just take another drive shaft and just use the tube, you can just push it on like that. So this shoulder high shouldered screw or bolt goes in the caster block. It acts as a bushing so that when you put the steering block in, it steers nice on metal. So this will go in right there. One on the top, one on the bottom. All right, so in putting this together, you have the regular setup of one bearing on the outside like that. And then you have the bearing that's on the drive shaft that goes in here like that. And then it's all together, right? But upon further inspection, it may seem, oh, we can fit another bearing in there. So then we'd have a total of three bearings on each side in the rear. But then you try to put this in, it doesn't go. It won't go far enough in. It won't go far enough. We tried this one to go into here, does not fit in. So our question is, why does this bearing exist? Why is there a spot for this bearing if it is useless? As you can see, if we put this in here like a normal car, this seats into there and that seats right there. The hole for the pin right here is visible. So we have two extra bearings right here. So we're wondering if there's a little bit of a mess up right there or if we're not seeing something. I'm not quite sure what's going on here because this should be right but then you look at the two bearings and you're like oh they must go somewhere you look everywhere right. they don't go anywhere for now we're going to keep those two bearings out if something goes wrong we'll know where we're supposed to put those two bearings all right so everything is done shock towers are on caster and steering blocks are on and the rear axle carriers are on these heavy duty drive shafts look amazing but we need to see how they perform so let's bring it outside and see how it goes let's do it Oh, there it is. We had a blowout. Kind of oh, difficult. That was, you did that pretty good that way. All right, so we've beat on this thing quite a bit. Nothing has failed yet, obviously. Except the tire. <laughs> the tire did fail. We do have a blowout. We out. had a blowout, but it still drives fine. Yeah. It's fine, who cares? I think it's working great. It feels good to drive the Haas. It's a fun little truck. It has a lot of power for, for a tiny little compact truck. It makes the drive shafts very vulnerable. We've so. gone through a lot of drive shafts, and I think this is a nice improvement. I wouldn't be scared to say that we've gone through 20. Yeah. 20 at least easy and we haven't had this car for that long we have had the Haas three times in total this is our third Haas it's completely stock until now so if there's any other upgrades you want to see us do on it comment down below really sick car really awesome hopefully we inspire this, you to get one this consequently was cheaper than buying the steel drive shafts alone 
Mm -hmm. So I thought, let's try this. Let's get some people buying this this kit for their Haas. And, uh, you know, you get some more upgrade parts more than just the metal drive shafts. The metal drive shafts are like 90 bucks for two. Mm -hmm. So you're $180 in for four drive shafts or output shafts. If you didn't know, these plastic parts are now going to be stock factory on the very base model cars, the yep. very low model cars. Really? That's stupid. Why? Do, why? You landed and then it crashed just, after you landed. Well, we had an awesome day installing this heavy duty Extreme kit. heavy duty. Extreme heavy duty kit. I think these new spline to drive shafts are really going to be what this truck needed. Yeah, because before they were very thin, very easy to break. But this really thick, really high quality materials. If you don't know, out of a lot of RC brands, Traxxas has one of the most agile plastics. It's very flexible. It, it can like bend in half and go back. So it's we really just nice. watch our sledge crashing into the side of the barn <laughs> two videos back or something like yeah, that. something like that. Make sure you like the video and ring that dang bell over there so we can get a little action in the algorithm. And I guess with that, we will see you in the next video. 3x7 Outdoors signing out. Bye for now.